So I did something stupid uh, a couple weeks ago. So what happened was we went to get burritos and uh, we brought Ashley's uh, Rogue, right? And yeah. I didn't realize... I, I ran in by myself and got the burritos and came back. Well, I didn't realize I had parked as far away from the door as I had. And so when I ducked out the door, there was a red SUV sitting there. And just it same size. What It was a Mazda CX-5. So same size as the Rogue. And like the exact same red. And I just like... Went over, ran over, opened the door, started to get in, and I was like, man, this car got messy since I left. And I looked around, I was like, this isn't mine. <laughs> and then uh, closed the door very quickly and ran back. So, uh, Matt, I'm just going to give you uh, $3,000. How would you like that? <laughs> I'm here for it. Okay, so having taken USD. The th- yeah, so having taken that three hundred three thousand dollars now, um I'm gonna need you to spend it on exactly what I'm asking you to spend it on. That's the stipulation. You know I've been divorced and remarried too, right? Like I know how yeah, I know how me, this no. goes when you um, <laughs> 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 so Matt, with that three thousand dollars, I'm gonna need you to go buy a car, fix said car if it needs anything fixed, and then I'm gonna need you to do some accessories, and then one stupid accessory on top of that. Sound like a plan? So I have to pick like a normal accessory, and then I have to pick something like like you ridiculous. can modify the car however you want to within budget, but then I need right. you to put at least one ridiculous modification on it or accessory. All right, all right, and I'm gonna do right. the same thing. Okay, so, oh, so okay. folks, listeners this out there, equal. yeah. So, listeners out there, we're we're doing this episode. We 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 decided this was going to be exciting. We're going to do a thing called hypothetical builds, where we get a predetermined budget. The the budget will be determined by random draw, and we randomly drew before this episode. We got three thousand dollars. So with that, no. Okay. I'm being told what to do. Yes, yeah. that's being told what to do. <laughs> yes, that, that that is the stipulation. So you have three thousand dollars. You get to buy a vehicle. If in the ad, the they say that something needs to be fixed, you have to fix it within your budget. Okay. So like the one I chose <sighs> did have something that needed to be fixed, and I did put that in my in my list. Okay. So, I, already I'm going to tell you right now that. I'm at a disadvantage because exchange rate is not good in a Canadian way. So, And I tried to pick most of my parts actually from Canadian things. So I may not have as much on it as Matt will have on his. Now, I picked... I have no idea. No, Matt has no idea. I have no idea what Matt's picked. Uh, So I picked a car that Matt would... Probably when I say what I what I chose, Matt's gonna go what? you. So I picked a Cherry 2007 Ford Focus SES five door hatchback. <laughs> okay, now I know what you're thinking. That that's your three thousand dollar build car. Awesome. Yes. So as soon as I saw that car. <laughs> Okay, as soon as I saw that car, A, I think the hatchbacks of that body style have aged well. Uh, the the sedan, not so much, but the hatchback looks okay still. Okay, and when I show you at the end my photoshopped version of everything I've put on it, A, it's hilarious because I did it with paint. I can't wait. I know. Uh, so, this car, this 2007 Ford Focus SES 5-door is white. With 245,000 kilometers or 152,000 miles, it does need new control arms, but it did just have a new exhaust put on and comes with a set of winter tires and wheels, which is a big deal here. Yes, that is a big deal. Yeah. That is a huge deal. And it's listed for $1,000. I spent a little more. You you spent more than that? Okay. So, Uh. like I said, it does need new control arms. Okay, so I am... 
I have to, I found control arms for eighty three dollars, and it comes with the the bearings and all that. So that's that's fixed. I fixed that. Okay. Now the modifications. So when I saw this Ford Focus, what I had in mind was rally car. Okay. 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 Rally car. So I'm going coil over suspension. Oh no! Can it handle hey, that? Hey. Yes, it can handle coil over suspension. Okay. okay. I'm thinking rally. Like, can it handle a can twist it, without a ring? Am I going to actually go rally it? No, of course not. But I wanted to have the 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 nuance of you know to the look. Okay, the new one. Yeah. like this. The okay. nuance. So go coil on. over suspension, I found for eight hundred eighty-one dollars for all four corners for the Ford Focus. I have. I'm putting a curved light bar on it, forty-two inches. Okay, I like. We're talking like the massive light bar in the front. I want to be able to see the entire trail that I'm on. Okay, that's hundred nineteen dollars on Amazon. And then I got wheels and tires. I know it comes with winter tires, but I I want dirt ones. Okay. I found no, wheels and a, tires. This is a... Right. Dirt tires. Yeah. I found yeah. wheels and tires. So wheels were five hundred forty two dollars. And I honestly so I went with a fifteen inch wheel when the fo focus came with a sixteen inch wheel. Uh purely because then I get a little more rebound in the suspension, you know, a little bit softer ride over the dirt. Okay. Okay. That's why I went with that. Tires for two hundred eighty three dollars. Not great tires, but tires. Uh, and then I'm putting a K and N air filter on it because you need a good air filter in the dirt, and it's a little bit more power. Yeah. Okay. And now, now are my not so great accessories. I can't wait. Okay. I'm so excited. I want this thing to look fast and sound fast. It's not going to be fast because it comes with 137 horsepower, two liter in line four. But it's going to look it with a white stick on hood scoop. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, so that was 20 bucks on Amazon. And then I got one of those fake turbo sound things that you hook to your exhaust. Because I want it to sound fast. I want people to sound like, oh, does that thing have a turbo? No, it doesn't. But it's going to sound like it. You're going to look like a total badass in Taco Bell. Yep. When you pull up. Yep. So adding Did you have that funny stickers? I had... So... At the end, everything added up. I had $2,995 spent. So I actually had five more dollars that if I wanted to put a NOS sticker on there, I could probably do it. Okay. You could probably find one yourself. Yeah. And print it out. Uh, so now I'm going to show you. I can't wait. You ready? It's going to pop up on <laughs> yeah, the screen. So it's going to pop up over both of our faces. You ready? <laughs> oh, Jesus. Now, let's keep in mind, I used paint, not Photoshop. I'm poor. I don't have photo. I can't afford Photoshop. Oh, Lord, there's so, got to be a book in the Bible that preaches against this. There probably is. Uh, so, as you can see, the hood scoop perfectly mounted wow. right on the center. See, what it is, I, I put the hood scoop on there because, and the light bar also, uh, to create drag. The, the car is so fast that I want the air to come in the hood scoop but have nowhere to go. And it, it basically acts as a parachute. <laughs> okay, so in Can't essence, stop at the rim. yes, the 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 rims. Uh, see, I couldn't uh, I couldn't Photoshop the other rims out, so it's literally it looks like I put like hubcaps over top. <laughs> <laughs> then you can see my nice light bar there, uh, illuminating the the trail, obviously. So that's my three thousand dollar build. Is that Ford Focus SES? I am so, I am so here for that. Okay, well, Matt just sent me his. All right. Yeah. Okay. So once you go, you go ahead and tell us, Matt. 
what you chose and what you're going to do to it. Okay, so I can actually reveal the car now. Yes. I picked a 2002 Chevy Malibu. Uh, I think it's an LS model. Um, oh, you know what? It might not even be. Oh, man, it's not. So it has 174,000 nope. miles, and it is $1,700. But the AC needs charging, and it run, and I quote, runs good. Text me. See, I don't even care. So, like, I think in this case, like, I don't even care if you charge the AC because it's a race car. Don't you don't need I'm, it. Because this is going to be um, my – well, I'm going to say track car. And tr- the word track is doing a lot of heavy lifting in this sentence. <laughs> well, it's already got – so I'm, I'm looking and I will I will superimpose the, uh, the pictures – on the view here for I YouTube, see. but uh, it's already got some uh, fender damage as if it's been in a race. Right. Uh, on the it's left just rear. seasoned. It's yeah. just seasoned. Yes. It's um, already it's already been uh, already had the chrome uh, chrome horn used on it. As they right, say. and it looks like windows might have already been factory tinted. Now I can't sure. tell because it might be shabby. So I'm gonna assume maybe not. So we're going to throw maybe like a cheap $200 tint job on it. Okay. So it gets $1,100 to still play with. Another thing I'd like. You're going to tint your oh, race car? It gets hot in Texas, okay. sir. I, mean, I, would just, I would just put the windows down. I will. I would burn. All right. Like, I've got to be able to hey, protect my hands. This is your car. This face. is your car. You do you, man. My car. Um, there was another. Uh, well, let's see. The rims on there are stock, but more than likely, we are going to have to get new tires. So we're going to have to probably throw down four to five hundred. I would estimate about five to six after install, even for an O2. Yeah. Um, I think standard 15, 15 inch rims is usually pretty standard for those, if I remember correctly. Now, this car is. Um, I remember this being popular, and this car was everywhere. Yeah. Uh, since Clint caught me guard, Clint was a little better prepared for this than I was, so I was working on the fly. But I had a couple ideas as soon as you said what you wanted. So I'm actually I'm loving this segment. This has been a lot of fun. <laughs> um, one thing I would replace in the back was that. Do you remember the old uh, Euro lights that were really popular? Like the Altezza you know, lights. Yes. Oh okay. God. Yes. That's what they were. We would have to put a set of those in the back now. I know what those are in like you know in like a Lexus, but I don't know what they are. So we're gonna have to check real quick. Um, You've already got a spoiler. You've already got downforce. Yeah. So I've, that that was the thing. I was actually looking for a car that didn't have one, so that I could add one. But then I'm like, oh well, this one already comes with it. This leaves me. It leaves you more. Um, money. That's exactly how I was. I was like, the cheaper car I can get that's in decent condition, the less I have to do to fix it, and the more I could do to modify it. The problem then so, becomes that it's Canada and everything's expensive. All right. So um looks like about 90. There's one set for 90, 89, 90, and the other's 123. So we're going to go, go yeah, to the midline. We're going to 90 we'll just call it, we'll just, well, Let's just call it 100 and make it even. Yeah. So I still have $1,000. Yeah. Um, well, no, about 25, about 500, because I'm going to need about 500 for tires. Like, that's just going to yeah. be... There's just no way to 174,000 miles. These tires have been rotated. <laughs> In fact, if we could even get the rims off, it'd be amazing. Now, what is my final? What do you think? What do you think my final major accessories? Of course, we're gonna throw some stickers on it, and you know, like a big dragon or something. Because yeah. I have a big dragon tattoo chest. So I obviously, so I have a big dragon tattoo on my chest. So obviously I have to have a cheap spray painted version stencil like a stencil and like spray painted on. We're going to cry on touch this shit right onto the hood. What do you think my final accessory is going to be? Oh. So are we talking like it's a, a, a bad accessory then? So it's a bad accessory. But it's a very real one. It's not a hood scoop. It's not bench shades. It's not, you know, something that'd be pointless for this kind of car. Okay. Now, this accessory is totally pointless for this kind of car, but it would get your attention while it was rolling around. Does that are help? Oh, are you going to put fake spinners on it? Yes. That's yes. the answer, sir. Yes. Oh. So I found a cheap one 
like 40 bucks, but I think those are the plastic ones. So we will get some really, we have to get crappy ones and we'll get some crappy ones, but they have to be for the rims. So okay. maybe we can get some that, you know, you like kind of like weld on, you know, right. <laughs> Me idiots. You'll get into traffic just fine. You're going to have a good driving experience. I mean, it's going to be kind of boring as far as, you know, maneuverability. If I remember, they're a little squishy on the road, yeah. you know, because they're a, they're a Sunday driving car. Yeah. Great commuter car. Yeah. But I'm assuming since it sounds like we're going, uh, Clint and I will be um, doing some auto riff rally racing. <laughs> the, 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 the guest host. Man, that was a really fun. That was fun. That was fun. So now I'm going to I'm gonna hit the spin on my app. Okay. And we'll figure out uh, for the next time we do this, whenever that is, what our budget is. So what is the range? So if you're listening, what would be so, a range? The so budget? there are, there's a $1,500 budget, 3000 which we just did, 5000 10000 20000 50000 and then 100000 for shits and giggles. Oh. Yeah. Come on, sponsorships. Right. We can actually do this for realsies. Okay, so spin... we at oh ten thousand so next time so same rules is that what you want yes same rules uh ten thousand obviously you have a lot more to play with three thousand was uh i wouldn't say difficult but it was i went looking through plague plague's list plague's list yeah that's yeah, pretty, that's, that's not, right that, that sounds right actually, i saw on <laughs> <laughs> so what I saw earlier that I almost picked it was an end in quotes awesome Honda Civic. Yeah. Uh it was one of the cashbacks. Yeah. But it did run. And I was oh. like, uh Yeah, you're gonna blow your budget on an engine. Yeah, I know. Like and I'd only spending twelve bucks and I still would have had, you know, another twenty eight hundred to spend. What would I have done? Right. <laughs> For everyone out there, like, subscribe, follow, hit the bell. Comment. Um, give a review. Yeah, if you listen to his podcast, it's really important if you rate and leave a short, even if it's just a short review, it's really important. It helps um, anybody. It helps him get shown to everybody else. That's what gets him kind of moved around. If you're on YouTube, leave a comment, like, and subscribe because he's my friend and he's amazing. Right. Thank you. And I don't spend that much time on Twitter and I need I need more people to talk to me. Uh, so with that next episode after this one is an interview again, everyone really liked the interview, um, that I did with Landon about his Lotus Evora. I loved it. I listened to that whole thing from beginning to end. I thought, I thought it went really well. Um, and he's going to be back on eventually. Uh, but next week or the week after this one will be another episode, uh, another interview with a guy from another podcast who also owns a plethora of awesome cars. Uh, so Thanks again for listening, watching, and all that, and uh, everyone have a great week. Thanks again for listening to The Auto Riff. Be sure to follow us on Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook, or you can email us at theautoriff at gmail.com. Without you, the listener, I'd just be a crazy person talking about cars to myself. I appreciate the support and the conversations with my listeners that this provides. Until next time, everyone drive safe and have a great week.